Good afternoon. Welcome to session two of European Entrepreneurship and Innovation at Stanford Engineering. My name is Burton Lee. Today is Monday, January 11, and we're very pleased to be featuring two uh, very interesting world-class hardware startups out of Europe, uh, this time out of Central and Southeastern Europe, specifically out of Croatia and Slovakia. Our first speaker is Igor Zacek, who is CEO and co-founder of EcoCapsule, a very interesting uh, affordable eco-home uh, technology, platform technology, which they're bringing to initially high-end markets, kind of a, a very similar to Tesla model. And our second speaker is what I consider Europe's leading electric car startup today out of Zagreb, Croatia, led by Mate Rimac out of, out of Croatia. Uh, our first speaker is Igor, who's flown in all the way from Bratislava. Igor, thank you so much. Good thank to see you. you come here. Let's give him a hand. So I want to thank you, Barton, for a lovely introduction. And let's start. Uh, whoopsie, sorry, I'm learning. Well, we are facing quite a huge global problem. One billion people is lacking proper housing. To really quote, uh, we can see in streets of, uh, streets of San Francisco, uh, homeless people on the streets. But this is just the top of the iceberg. R to really quantify this uh, number, uh, we can put it on a map. Basically, it's a whole population of uh, South and North America together. So it's a huge, huge, huge problem. Uh, also, uh, it's not a problem which is uh, just a stable one. It's still, this number is still growing. For example, just last year, uh, there were 20 million uh, refugees alone. There are many, many uh, new initiatives which are trying to address this problem. Uh, they are trying to build uh, very small, tiny housing, uh, <coughs> which are very, very cheap. Uh, for example, these guys from uh, Ho uh, Harvard Innovation Lab. Um, however, we decided to solve this problem differently. We, we are a Slovak startup uh, with architectural background. Basically, we had an archite architectural company before. Um, we, we came from Slovakia, from Bratislava, which is a city with amazing history of, uh, of affordable housing and small housing units for everybody. So we, have, we are taking this heritage uh, with us. And thanks to this heritage and our, our, our architectural background, uh, we were able to define three elements of uh, good, affordable housing for everybody. Firstly, a uh, house has to, be, has to be comfortable. Well, you don't want to live in a house which is not very comfortable, which is ugly, which basically does not please you at all. Then it has to be affordable, so uh, everybody can afford it. And finally, and most importantly, uh, it has to be off grid. Uh, in most areas, uh, this housing crisis is happening in areas with uh, very bad infrastructure. There is no running water, no electricity. Uh, so if you want to develop these areas, you have to build your infrastructure. Or you can use a product which does not rely on infrastructure, which is completely self-contained unit, and it's working on its own. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, please allow me to introduce you to EcoCapsule. Basically, it's a very small model house. <laughs> We started working on this uh, prototype uh, last year. And when we finished this, we created a small portable house which does not require any infrastructure. It's powered by onboard battery, which is recharged from the solar cells on the roof and also from a, from a winter, uh, low, uh, low noise uh, wind turbine on the pole. Uh, to really ensure independence from the grid, we equip EcoCapsule with ability to collect rainwater to filter it, and basically to use any water source available. As, a, as, a, as a, this housing, housing is a global problem, uh, we knew that uh, global logistics is part of the problem. Therefore, we designed EcoCapsule as a, uh, in compliance to shipping uh, container regulations. Therefore, uh, it can be easily shipped everywhere in the world, and most importantly, very cheaply. Uh, to, re uh, to really add more features to EcoCapsule, we design it in a way that it can be easily converted to 
uh, camper unit, so you can really move it easily on a local level. Um, Eco capsule is suitable for two people. Uh, inside, you can find folding double bed. There is a, there is a shower and a toilet, kitchen, small kitchen and area, dining area. Basically, all the necessities what you need for a decent li uh, decent living. Or, well, this is a picture of me inside. You can see that there is still plenty of space for more people. Bed is uh, folding, so you can make a double bed from it. Uh, when we started with EcoCapsule last year, we published the idea and we received amazing, amazing response from the media. Basically, a uh, message about EcoCapsule went completely viral. We appear in the media like CNN, NBC News. We, we got article in Popular Science. But this media attention is, is very nice, but it's uh, not a thing which is building company on itself. Therefore, we need a game plan. We, we adopted Tesla, Tesla's way to this problematic. Now we, started, now we are starting with a small limited production targeted on a, on a high-end market. Which, and the revenues from this, uh, this production will help us uh, to bring uh, mass-produced uh, version of EcoCapsule. I'm very happy that I can announce that uh, last, last month we started with pre-orders and here uh, on 11 January we have 50% uh, of pre-orders sold out. So uh, it's very, very positive uh, development. Um, we understand that EcoCapsule is a stepping stone for developing the technology which can support uh, our, in, uh, our final goal to bring affordable housing for masses for everybody. Um, because of uh, EcoCapsule features, uh, for the, the mobility and the, and the shape, it's uh, always compared uh, to, to campers. So let's have a look at the, at the size of a market. So we, are uh, we are talking about quite a huge uh, global market for very small limited production. It's roughly, global number is roughly $20 billion. Uh, and it's heavily concentrated here in the US. We have a uh, market size of $15 billion. $15 billion uh, but we have to go deeper in this, uh, in this uh, cause EcoCapsule is not just RV, it's uh, towable, so we are reducing the market a bit, and we have final number of roughly $7 billion. Just to give you the idea of uh, how, how are the biggest players on the market? We have Tor Industries uh, who are producing famous uh, Airstream campers, uh, which uh, is, is very interesting because they are leading, uh, leading the market. But uh, to really give you the idea how the market is operated, I'm bringing here the, the quote from uh, Willy Bayan, the, the founder of uh, Airstream. So let's not make changes, let's make only small improvements. We tend to disagree with this, uh, this strategy. It's, uh, we, we feel that we need to really start from scratch. We need to uh, redefine our experience and build it from scratch. Uh, how many have you seen in Airstream? OK, you used to see a lot of them on the roads. You don't see as much of them today. When was Airstream invented? It's uh, a 1930s. 30s. 1930s. Yeah, so it's air, uh, airplane technology of the 30s still. So, this is a market that's about ready for disruption, perhaps. <laughs> yeah. Well, uh, thanks to the fact that we started pre-orders last uh, month, we have quite solid uh, data about our first customers. We have, uh, uh, we have early adopters. We have uh, tech enthusiasm. Very similar clientele as a first uh, Tesla adopters, for example. Uh, also, one very important, very, very interesting group uh, of clients uh, came from hospitality background. Uh, thanks to features uh, of EcoCapsule for ra uh, rapid mobility for off-grid features, you can use it easily as a, as a hotel. So in, if you own the land and you decide in the morning that you need, a, you need to build a hotel there, there you have a solution here. So you can have a, hot, a, functionally, a functional hotel in the evening. Uh, we, are heading, uh, we are heading for mass production. Therefore, uh, economy of scale would be one significant part uh, in cost reduction. However, there are also different trends uh, which uh, will uh, help uh, reduce price of EcoCapsule further. Uh, we are talking, uh, first, uh, there are the batteries. For example, t uh, Tesla is promising to bring, uh, uh, bring batteries uh, 
price of batteries by 30% in 2017 when they finished the Gigafactory. We have solar cells, uh, which, are, uh, which are now heavily subsidized, and uh, they are expected to drop by 40% also in 2017. And finally, we have a state of our insula uh, insulation factory uh, being built in uh, Sweden, which, is, which will be also operational in 2017. So all these things together will also help reduce the price of an eco capsule. And finally, why we are here. Of course, we were invited by Burton, which is very nice. Uh, but we are looking for, uh, most importantly, we are looking for venture funding of two millions. Uh, we want to extend our team by, uh, by technical advisors, by, uh, uh, by business and salespeople. Uh, and of course, uh, you saw that market is heavily focused on the US. Therefore, we are also searching for customers and uh, as a part of this effort, uh, we need to build distrib uh, distribution network here and also uh, kind of like uh, consumer uh, support center, which will help us to really push this effort further. So thank you very much. <laughs>